Hi, my name is David, and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Nova Systems. Thanks for watching. So you've been using SolidWorks Weldments for a while now, and although the default sizes are very nice, there are just not enough of them and you need some more. Well SolidWorks are ahead of you. If you come over onto the right hand side, on your design library within the task pane, under SolidWorks content there is Weldments, and there's a number of standards that are available for you to download. If you control or left click on them, choose a location, and you'll download a zip file of that standard. What we need to do before we use it is just check where SolidWorks is looking for its Weldment profiles. In the options, system options, file locations, and drop down to Weldment profiles, we can see the folder C program data SolidWorks, SolidWorks 2014 Weldment profiles, and that's where it will be looking for default for a 2014 install. So if we come across to my desktop, right click on the uh, BSI standard I downloaded and choose Extract All, we can go and find that location. So into the C drive, program data. Be warned, program data is by default a hidden folder, so you may have to show it before you can find it. SolidWorks, SolidWorks 2014, Weldment Profiles, and we're going to extract it to there. If we then go to that location, SolidWorks, SolidWorks 2014, Weldment Profiles, we can now see a bare size standard and its subfolders. So this is now going to be available when I create a structural member. There we've got BSI, we've got all of the standards I've downloaded, and what I can now do is use them onto my weldment, which is much nicer and I've got a lot more of them. What happens if you want a company standard, either something which doesn't arrive in one of the international standards, or you just want to store some of them so you don't have such a long list? Well, we can then create some default folders. So if I come back and I go to my weldment profiles folders, you'll see there's a folder titled David. In here I've got wood inch and wood metric for the DIY jobs I'm doing at the moment. So if you come back and you create a standard in inverted commas and you create some subfolders, you can then put any library feature parts, LFPs, weldment profiles into these folders for use later on. So if I come back again and have a look at the structural member, I've got David, I've then got wood inch and wood metric, and I've got the various different items I've been using. To create these files, there's two ways of doing it. One, you can draw them from scratch. In which case, we've got a really nice video on uh, YouTube on how to create your own uh, Weldment profile parts for use. Or, you can cheat a little. You can either copy some around from other standards, so in this case I can come back and grab the beam I was looking at earlier, copy it, come back to my David standard, create a new folder, and drop my part into there in which case I've now got it in a separate list which is easy to find possibly for parts that you use regularly in your business or you can then use that as a guide or a starting point in order to open the file so if I come in we'll go back through all the folders and we now have the beam and we can change it so edit this sketch and for example if we're not using 303 we've got a similar beam that's only 250 then I can change that sketch and I've now got that, that size available for use. So I'll save and close the file jump back to my uh, sketch and then we'll create BSI no we won't, we're going to go to my personal standard and now we've got our 250 beam available for use again as I said. So very easy to copy and modify existing parts and I recommend that as the way to start. Thank you very much for watching.